The Taiwanese ambassador is said to be in receipt of a letter asking him to decease from giving government ministers cash for projects. That letter is alleged to have come from Economics Affairs Minister Osbert Dove. Tom Cho was asked to put all cash donations into the consolidated fund. The ambassador says he knows nothing of this correspondence. I know nothing about who sent me the letter mm -hmm. uh, talking about this matter. And secondly, I had to make it very loud and clear that our government or our embassy, when we sponsor the pro uh, project, we did not give any money to any minister or member of parliament. I don't know what kind of, uh, who put, uh, spread this kind of rumor. At the same time, he says there is no need for such action. Cho says his government is abiding by what other foreign governments have done. He made special reference to the Japanese and Chinese governments. What we have done uh, to the local project is uh, very similar to that of some other, other foreign government, like Japan. I don't think uh, uh, there even any foreign government, when they do such kind of project, they would uh, deposit their money into the local government so-called cons consolidation fund. Mm -hmm. This is never heard of. Not so, says Dr. Kenny Anthony. He says the only projects not funded through the Consolidated Fund were those financed 100% by foreign governments. In fact, the request to use the Consolidated Fund first came from the opposition leader. He refused to touch any Taiwanese funds until this was done. Cho says if he was to comply, his government would be the exception and not the norm. In the past 10 years, when the Chinese government has a diplomatic tie with St. Lucia, can you tell me, did he put their uh, uh, fund into your consolidation fund? Not at all. They not only you know, build uh, the project by themselves, but also they bring in their own workers. Mm -hmm. They never consult with you. A cabinet subcommittee recommended the Taiwanese use the consolidated fund to fund small projects in individual constituencies. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.